are going to be making some awesome Tumblr inspired, urban outfitter inspired, and anthropology inspired room decor. I've been going over the Tumblr sites and urban outfitter sites and anthropology sites and seeing some really cool merchandise but they're like $40 each or like $100 and I'm like I don't have the money to buy that so we might as well DIY them. And can we just take a moment to just like look at that thumbnail and just look at the yin yang in sense holder. It looks so on point. I love it. It's my favorite DIY in this video and my room smells so good. And don't worry about fire hazards, the ash will not burn your incense holder, but it is always good to be vigilant. I'm gonna stop talking now, and without further ado, let's get into the video. I don't even know what this is. Usually I do this, like, Of our first DIY, we're gonna make these Tumblr inspired rocks. I'm sure you guys have seen them all over Tumblr where you have these painted rocks with simple designs on them. So just go online and find some designs. I just freehanded mine, but I think they add a really cool personal style to my room. And in the comment down below, tell me which Tumblr rock was your favorite. Personally, mine is the eye, but do tell me yours. For our next DIY, we're going to make this see-through prism which I know you guys must have seen on Tumblr, Anthropology, and Urban Outfitters. For this DIY, you're going to need some strong plastic which I simply got from a plastic box. After cutting out my plastic sheet, I'm going to measure out an equilateral triangle of 5 inches. Now you can always cut out your plastic triangle using scissors but an X-Acto knife is much more precise and a whole lot easier. And a pro tip is to use a ruler while you're using your X-Acto knife just so you get those precise cuts. After you've cut all sides, carefully pop out your triangle. Now you want to create two more 5 inches equilateral triangles. After you cut out your three equal triangles, place a clear strip of tape down and then tape on one end of the triangle making sure to press out any air bubbles. And then take some scissors and trim down the tape. Then take your other piece of triangle and press it down on the other side of the tape, making sure to press out any air bubbles. Usually I always use hot glue to put my tools or DIYs together, but tape worked out much better than the hot glue. You want to do the same steps with your other triangle and then press them together, creating a little prism. Once again, take another piece of tape and just tape down that end. I know as I'm saying this, it may sound confusing, but just look at the video and you guys will surely get it. If I can do it, then you guys can as well. And now you have your clear triangle. To make it more realistic and like the one on Urban Outfitters and Anthropology, simply take some straws. I actually used the coffee stirs that you get from Starbucks and painted them white. And then simply took some hot glue and glued them on. Glue down a straw for the other edges and now you're done. I've got this thing, gonna blow your mind. Pulling the string, helping you unwind. For our next DIY, we're going to make this really cool yin yang incense holder inspired by anthropology. You're going to need a wooden circular pot that I simply got for 97 cents at Walmart. And then taking two mason jars, I'm going to take my pencil and lightly trace out the yin and the yang sign. And if you made any mistakes, you can always go back and retrace it with your pencil. And here I'm just making some adjustments by lightly erasing and recreating. Next, you're going to take something that has a smaller circle, and yes, I used a wine cork because that was the closest thing at my desk because I was using it for another DIY, but other than that, I'm babbling. Just take the wine cork or whatever circle object you use and lightly trace out a circle to create the little circle within the yin and the yang. And now it's time to start painting. A pro tip is to always paint out the outlines and then fill it in. This will help you make less mistakes and it really helps you bring out the vibrancy of the yin and the yang. And so just be careful when you paint it on and then the same thing I'm doing with little circles within the yin and the yang. I'm painting out the outlines and then coloring it in. Once the acrylic paint has dried, take a hammer and nail and hammer the nail in to create a hole for your incense. I didn't really use a drill because my wooden plaque was too delicate for that but the hammer nail worked out just fine and you want to do that in the, both of the circles. Next, you're going to take your little incense sticks which I simply got from my incense stick holder which is beautiful but all you're going to do is take it and put it inside the hole of the yin and the yang and now you're done. Enjoy.
enjoy that video if you did make sure to give this a big old thumbs up comment down below which diy what's a favorite which diy are you guys going to recreate because if you guys do make sure to tag them with a hashtag spirit of diy and send it to me via twitter or instagram because all my social media is on there and if you guys want to catch up with me on something else i'll link it down below also if you have not subscribed yet subscribe because you get to see awesome diys like this and you get to stay updated with my videos and in the comments down below make sure to leave me any video requests because i would like to know what you guys want to see i hope you guys have a grand sparkling day i hope you guys are having a great summer so far and i will see you guys in the next video bye